I'm Sarah Backhouse of Future360. I'm here with Rick Needham, a Director of Sustainability and Energy at Google. Rick, why is it so important that Google be in the renewable energy space? We've been spending a lot of time and effort over the last several years to try and procure more renewable energy for ourselves. Uh, we've also been going external and actually investing in more projects that provide more renewable energy to the communities we work in, to our users, uh, and to the world at large. We think both of those areas, procuring renewable energy for ourselves and investing in renewable energy, uh, make good business sense uh, and help to put our, put our money where our mouth is, which is uh, supporting this, trans this transition to a clean energy future. Can you speak a little bit about some of the investments you've made and uh, you know, what is the goal with these? Sure, we've made uh, several investments to date. Uh, we've invested in 11 projects since 2010. We've committed over a billion dollars in capital to those projects, which have a capacity for two gigawatts, which is uh, pr pretty sizable. Um, the reason that we're doing those investments are, we feel like they're a great way to uh, make a good return on our capital, um, but they also provide the opportunity to help, uh, help with this transition help potentially fund some transformative projects. Uh, and there's a, you know, we've invested in a large, some of the largest scale wind farms in the world, uh, large photovoltaic plants, the largest solar power tower in the world. We've even invested in a, a transmission line off the mid-Atlantic coast, which could uh, transform the U.S. offshore wind industry by providing a line that connects uh, up to 7,000 megawatts of offshore wind, which would be a, a significant amount of wind. There's a big trend towards clean web, the kind of combination of digital and uh, clean energy. How do you see that playing out? Well, I we think that there's a lot of opportunities for, for clean web as you describe it. I mean, one of the things that we've done as a company is we have uh, products uh, that enable people to use some of the information on the web to operate more sustainably themselves, whether it be you know, biking directions in Google Maps or access to Google Transit, which allows people to find and locate public transport, um, or it's things like uh, G Plus and YouTube that, that allow people to, uh, to, to connect better with uh, communities where the other interested, people are interested in sustainability. Um, as, the, uh, as more information becomes available uh, with people's energy use, uh, we've been long proponents of providing more transparency to energy use, giving people more access to the information on their energy. Then we think there could be a lot of interesting applications uh, that get developed that uh, allow people to really leverage that, that information to let them use energy more efficiently, more intelligently, which can be great for the grid, um, can help enable the grid to bring on more renewables, and can help enable the people uh, using that energy to save costs, to, to uh, have greater convenience, um, and to help that transition to a future clean energy. But the great thing about sustainability is this is an area where you can make the world better, but you can also do it in ways that make great business sense. So, and that's truly the definition of sustainability, where you can make the world better, but you're doing it in ways that are themselves sustainable, economically sustainable, um, that makes sense for businesses as well as people.